Oh, I got a lot of charts open. Yes. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm late. Look, I came on early. Now I'm late. <laughs> peace, peace, beloveds. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, beloveds. How are you? I'm trying to pull up my website. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to have to open up a whole new thing. Peace. Uh-oh. Got to knock my phone over. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, beloved. Okay. So today was the rebirth. How's everybody feeling? And it's a full moon. Yes. Full moon energy. Rebirth. Peace, pink. Yay. So today was the rebirth. Who's doing the acts of self-love challenge? And how did that go for y'all? Who's doing the acts of self-love? Peace, everyone that's coming in. Peace, beloved. Hi. You on the train platform, surprise. What? Look at you. Hey, Pink. Hey, Alicia. Hey, lady. How are y'all? Um. Yay. Y'all did it. Yes. I was feeling really high energy despite my Scorpio boys. The youngest one threw me off. He missed the bus. I think he missed it on purpose. <sighs> Then my other Scorpio boy texts me and he's like, oh, I left my book bag. How you go to school without a whole damn book bag? Can you bring me my book bag, Paul? So that's how my morning been going. And then my mom was on her rampage with some people. But I've been in a good mood. I don't know. The full moon is amazing. It has been charging me. It has been removing things. It is pushing things. It's pushing my growth right now. Um, I got one of my cert, um, certifications in the mail today that I was not expecting. Um, so, yeah, I'm, it's it's good. And the, at the time and that that certification came through, my energy was being tried, but... It came through right at the right time to remind me what I'm supposed to be doing, what I'm supposed to be focused on. Yes, y'all. I'm out here. Y'all want to get married? I can actually marry y'all right now. I can get y'all married. Who get married so I can be over y'all ceremony? Y'all can come to the healing chambers. Let me marry y'all. <laughs> um. Thank you. Yes. It's been a. It's been a really, really. I was a little perturbed. Yeah, now earlier I was. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm sorry. It's rare that I get in my mood. I just get into that space sometimes where people it just make my eye hurt. <laughs> Cause I really just be like, wait a minute. So let me get this right. So you you feel safe here? Where they killing our black men like by the droves, they killing our black women by the droves. Like, they're killing us. Times 10. Peace split ends. But you feel safe here. Okay. I ain't even gonna get back on that that whole spiel. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go back and look at my live from earlier today. It just, it irked me just a little bit. Because I'm just so over it. But, it still didn't knock my day. My day is amazing. Um... It is. Like, no matter what has been happening, I've had a couple of things try to knock me off track. I was like, mm-mm, you tried it. Nope, not doing it. Your cleansing spiritual shower was popping. Yes. I'm going to do one of those tonight. I need it. I, I got some more release, so I need to do some more cord cutting. I got to do. Got to do me some cord cutting today. Mm-hmm. 
So tomorrow is enlightenment. Oh, oh, this is perfect. So enlightenment is um, for us to learn something new, find a new skill. Take this time to read, listen, educate yourself on something that creates enlightenment. Reading is fundamental. Man, listen, I wasn't getting off my throne. That ain't gonna never happen. Some stuff just tests you, I think, just so you can figure out. Like I said last night, is this a time frame? Have you really learned? Are you are you truly walking in your energy? And you have to question why is that thing triggering you? What is it triggering? And why is it triggering? And what I realized that I definitely am a person who um, attached to certain dynamics. So when it triggers that response or it triggers a certain energy from me, I have to make sure, like, where is that coming from? Peace, search as. So I identified it and I already kind of seen the energy unfolding the way it was, but I was being hard headed. So, yeah, we'll see. Not glad. My kids are probably going to bust through the door because I can hear them. I hear them. So, we'll see. Um, full moon. Let's release. Do our cord cutting. Make sure we're walking forward. Make sure tomorrow for our time of enlightenment that you are reading and pouring information that nurtures you, that nurtures the goddess energy in you, that nurtures who you are and how you are evolving, and that is going to give you more insight. Um, you might want to revisit a book that maybe you read before and maybe you didn't really, you know how you read something the first time and you, it might not all digest but then that second time you read it, or that third time you read it, something click. You be like, ooh. So pay attention to like, maybe if it's a book you need to pull back off the shelf, or if it's a new book. Um, I started jumping into some of my studies that I said I was going to wait, but I decided I wanted to get, I'm like really excited about learning stuff right now so i decided to go ahead and get an early start so i'm excited about that too so i can't wait this is perfect time because i just made that choice today so tomorrow will be a perfect dynamic to our challenge what candle color can be used for cord cutting any kind they typically you can do black typically black is really better um but y'all know how i am i like white I do all white candles um, with everything that I do um, on any dynamic. So I'm a, a white candle girl. The Power of Now. That's a good book. The Four Agreements, because they keep been calling you. Yes, The Four Agreements is amazing. All his books are amazing. I'm not going to lie. That's the one of the, that's the same guy that I, for y'all that don't know. Oh, do I have it up here? Yes. When I had pulled out this book, The Mastery of Love. Same person, Don Miguel Ruiz. Same person. Amazing, amazing books. He's an amazing um, person when it comes to like the wisdom and the insight that he offers. So I love for people to read those type of books because it, it gives you perfect I'll start outwitting exactly that's what it's about how do we outwit how do we gain in our wisdom how do we sharpen our skills to make sure that we are operating and navigating the right way I've seen that book I'm gonna have to yeah that book is amazing like the mastery of love like what you call it the this is dope. I ain't gonna lie. But the mastery of love, maybe at the time I read it, it just hit me in a different space. So I always say sometimes it's about when things trigger certain dynamics and, and how you receive them. Um, 
it was something somebody said earlier now i can't remember huh i suck oh i know what i was gonna do. i'm gonna do that tomorrow so tomorrow i definitely because somebody had some questions about the pendulum um so i'm gonna definitely go through my breakdowns on pendulum um energy probably tomorrow that'll be a good time um we were talking about the mastery of love but the the main book we were talking about was the four agreements and how that book was amazing it's very life freeing but i think you say you read that arts i need a link with you arts i don't know when we gonna do it but we need a link here soon beloved how was my day it was amazing I had really great energy until I saw people being stupid on my post. But, you know, overall, I still was in a good mood. I'm, it's been a really great day. Um, I'm in a really good place. I'm always in a really good place. Um, when I'm sleepy, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, the last couple of days, I was a little cranky. I was sleepy. My body was sore because I had been, like, on my feet for, like, 12 plus hours back to back to back. And dealing with a crowd that I normally don't have to deal with on a regular basis. So, yeah, that was interesting. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to... My... Okay, that's better. My lighting was doing something funky. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to hit you up, Arts, tomorrow. Oh, you got jury duty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Peace, Rika. How are you? Peace, peace, peace. Uh, I'm getting ready for CIAA. Because it's like double what I just went through. <laughs> it's double what I just went through. Triple, really. So, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Um, y'all want to talk about anything? Cause I really was just jumping on here. I'm not doing no card pulls. Um, I really was just jumping on here. Full moon energy. If you didn't do anything last night, the night is the perfect time for you to do it. Peace, beloved. Peace, Mari. Um, <laughs> shut up, Alicia. Alicia, don't leave me alone. Um, I um did want to like make sure I went over what tomorrow is like i said read a book do something that is um what you call it that's going to be beneficial as far as to your growth and the evolution of who you are i'm trying to read these comments i'm sorry the new moon or the full moon full moon is tonight do you mean the full moon no intention writing only releasing no intention writing. We're only releasing. So what do you need to release? You might want to write a letter. You might want to burn it. You want to um, bury it. Um, tonight is about releasal. Make sure you're releasing energy that is blocking you, that is not um, self-serving. So release whatever energy that is not self-serving tonight. And then as we move forward out of this full moon energy, you're going to take the time to continue to meditate, to receive the downloads and the information and the guidance that you need to get from your ancestors and your spirit guides. And then as we're moving through into the new moon, y'all should be visualizing every day, every day, every day. I need for you to visualize what it is that you see yourself doing, how you are becoming more in alignment, how you are creating these, these, um, rituals and, and dynamics that are going to keep you in alignment and, and moving towards your growth of evolving towards your growth your self-love so tonight is about release if you don't have time to do it tonight do it tomorrow try to get it in between these three days this is the most powerful energy it is a super moon that moon was so bright last night that i was feeling like the sun was shining through my window Yes, beloved. Go ahead.
I'm sorry. Let me see. No weird moods, Mari. It's time for you to be still and be quiet. Release all that stress. Release the drama. Right, Arts? I was like, I woke up literally thinking it was like 6 a.m. It was like 3. Sending me a big hug. I'm sending you a big hug. <laughs> sending you some energy. Peace, beloved. Coming in. We sending you love and light. I woke up around and said, that's my number. Normally, 333 is normal when I wake up. Lately, I've been asleep. Jeez, I'm wonderful, amazing, energized. Cry. We keep telling you to cry, Mari. Release it. That's a form of releasal. Sending you a beautiful picture of it while he was at work. Oh, that was sweet of him. Right? I was literally about to get up and start doing some stuff. I made myself go back to sleep at like five. Yes, it can create an emotion or pull, but you have to learn how to redirect that energy and transmute it. It's so important for y'all to learn how to transmute energy. I was supposed to be putting the time frames up for the classes. Y'all give me a couple of days. Be patient with me. I'm trying to restructure some stuff. So be patient with me, okay? Yes, right. Then you can write out a list. You can write out a list. I just wouldn't do necessarily intentional work on today. Um, I would make sure that you're specifically doing um a certain dynamic. Yes, beloved. Uh Spasimone, come on, search king, find me some pants. Let's go say I have to go to take my shower. Okay, go take your shower. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Oh yeah, I was supposed to say it's today to drink water. What time is it? Mmm, it's a little late. We can get a, a swig of water. A swig. <laughs> Close my door back. Close my door back. Micah. What? Mommy, I, want to see I told y'all it was getting ready to be. Yeah. What? What happened? Yeah. Oh, that's me. I don't know what that. Oh, it's nothing. It's just Mama. your ankle. Mama, I don't see. I was saying close the door. Back. Close see the door it. back. Okay. Okay. Hold on, how you close him in here? <laughs> Wait. Yay. Explain the meditation problem. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to go back. Is it a good time to plan? Um, you can plan, but I the planning stages is will be after you release. Release what you need to release Mama. now and then start Mama. planning. Mama. Yes. And what are the real toys? They are. Leave, you leave them alone, okay? The, did you say they're real? Yes, they're real toys. Oh, no, no. They're going to Okay, we'll close the door no. back. I shouldn't do that. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> um... I have edit. Okay, wait a minute, wait, wait, girl. Mari. Okay, wait a minute. Y'all already talked to Mari. I have many issues in meditation. How do one meditate? What are you supposed to do in meditation? What are your thoughts? Da, da, da. Okay, so on meditation, this is what I say. <laughs> Y'all don't be laughing at me. Um. So with meditation, the whole key is for you to be still. Con concentrate on your breath. Concentrate on on your heart beating. Uh, you stupid. They still like us, right? Uh, my baby still... Yeah, my boys are different, though. Um, 
concentrate on your breath, concentrate on how you're breathing, um, concentrate even on your heartbeat, the sound of your heartbeat. Being still don't mean you got to sit in a certain position. I always tell people, get to the space where you can sit still and hear first. Because it's about hearing. This is when you receive your downloads. This is about when you're able to connect from a different perspective. So this is the time frame where you, you, you have to be still. Learn how to be in your stillness. When your mind is running different directions while you're sitting in the space, this is the time where you say, okay, how do I bring my mind back? How do I get my mind to focus back the intention on what it is that I need to receive during this meditation? So what you want to do is consistently just like when your mind running, go back to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Do something that is going to distract you from your own thought process. Another good way for you to get into meditation or meditative trance is also listening to chants. So you can pull up different chants on the what you call it. You got to keep doing it. It's not about, oh, I'm all, I've done this and I'm still disconnecting. Be still every day. It's a muscle. You got to do it every day. When those thoughts come, let them come and release it. You can even write it down. I always tell people like start with five minutes a day every morning. The biggest thing for me has been doing it in the morning, the wee hours of the morning. When there's nothing, I'm not rushing. When everybody is asleep, <laughs> I'm not worried about getting people out of the bed. I'm not worried about doing none of this extra stuff. I'm only worried about what I need to do for myself and how can I connect with me. So I use it where you're getting almost into it. It's a ritual. You got to look at meditation as a part of your ritual. How can I get ritual ready? Do that mean I need to burn a certain smell? Certain scents might trigger for you to go into meditation. Um, a really good one to use in the morning is organic mint. You use organic mint um, crystals or just the smell of that mint to like trigger you going into find out what are your triggers. I always tell people, figure out what's your trigger. So you might want to smell frankincense. It might be patchouli. It might be um, other things. Yes, that's a good um, thing. That's because you overthinking it, Twan. So you got to get into a space of the year. Are you being consistent with it every year? Are you doing it every day? Are you doing the sensory things? Are you doing burning certain incense, certain smells? Are you playing certain sounds all at the same time? Sometimes, especially if we've been in survival mode, if we've been in flight and flee or um, basically survival <laughs> for and that hormone is so amped up and revved up in you. The whole key is to let that down, to get that to calm down. We got to first start working on how do we get out of fight mode? How do we get out of survival mode? So now that when I go into meditation, when I am trying to calm my spirit and my body so it can connect. Then how do I be still? How am I doing this? How do I, I understand how to pull my body into trance? I always tell people I walk in meditation I, and when I'm really in that space, you, yeah, it's hard. Because I can go from being hype one minute to like going straight into a trance in the next. So you have to figure out what are those triggers. Play around every day. You have 365 days in a year. So every day. You should be sitting down at three o'clock in the morning, whatever time. I'm just saying three. Three o'clock in the morning was me. When I wanted to really connect, it was three. And I would sit down and I would get up and go to my altar at 3 a.m. every morning. I would burn my Nak Champa. I would have my um, frankincense and myrrh on my hands. 
smell it. Take three deep breaths and then just sit and be still and consistently be still. You joking about Anita Baker, but it could be Anita Baker. You have to figure out what is nostalgic for you. What is going to make you shift your energy into that spirit realm? And whatever it is for you, that's what you do. Peace, beloved. Um, so you have to figure out. That's what I was going to say. I don't use technology to play what it is because it distorts the frequency. I use my singing bowl. Now when I sit down, I smell. Yeah, smell is a big one. I use my singing bowl. So my singing bowl is going. I'm doing my singing bowl. I, I set the tone. It's like having sex. You got to set the tone. You set in the mood for it. If y'all take the time to like master how to be bomb in the bed, then you should be able to take the time to master how to go into your meditative trance. How do I go into this space? And it's not going to be easy. You spent, I don't know how old you are, Tuan, but if you done spent 20 plus years being taught the wrong information, <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, you know, you've been spending all of this time being taught, fed, subliminally moved into a certain dynamic, but you don't. It's going to take longer than a year sometimes. Some of us naturally can go into it, but then some of it could be us having to take time. Yes, practicing and maintaining that 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 peacefulness, learning how to consistently do it. Like I always tell people, start with five minutes a day, then it increase. The next week, it might be 10 minutes a day. The next week, it might be 15 minutes a day. So you, we the same age, sis. I remember when I first, when I was young and I was doing it, instant. When I was like 20, instant. I was doing some old other shit then. I ain't know how to do what I was doing. Because wasn't nobody talking about it, but I was on something else. It was that deep. When I stopped and went away from it and had to come back, it took a minute. And it's not going to be like, don't beat yourself up. Be patient. Sometimes I, there's still days that like, I'll not go into trance because my mind is racing so much because I might be worried or concerned about something. But what I've learned is the trigger for that is why are you worrying? The universe, if you don't have faith in yourself and you don't have faith in the universe. I almost feel like we were taught from a religious aspect to have this blind faith in things that we could not see. But you don't want to have faith in yourself. You don't want to have faith in things that you know are connected and divinely intuitive to you. So that's crazy because now it's like, okay, take time. Don't stress. Stress makes things worse. Stress brings more of what you're stressing about. Stress brings more of that energy in when you don't need that. You have to be still. Stop stressing. Don't worry about it. It brings more anxiety. It brings health issues. It brings insomnia. Stress is a number one killer. Listen. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. So don't do it. When you feel yourself getting into that space, when you feel it rising, you feel it in your stomach, you feel it in your chest, your shoulders hurting, back hurting, arm hurting. You don't even know why. Let it go. Peace, beloved. Peace, peace, peace. Let it go. Understand, do whatever it works. You have to find, like, this is why I say y'all have to find what works for you. What's your trigger? What's your um, thing that is going to help you? Hold on, y'all. Somebody is, like, texting the hell out of me. 
Um, find what works for you. And this is the thing, when you find that dynamic that works for you, then it helps you um, navigate differently. Because the key is to navigate differently. How can I navigate differently? And the key for me has always been when I'm stressing, I figure I write it down. Why am I stressing? What's the worst case scenario? What's the best case scenario? My mentor used to make me do that. Okay, you stressed out about this dynamic. What's the worst case? What's the worst thing that can happen? What's the best thing that can happen? What happens when um, you don't do nothing? <laughs> like, write it out. Quit making it complex. Make it simple. A lot of times we stress out about things that we complicate in the shit. It ain't even that complicated. A lot of times it'd be shit that we should have been let go out of our lives. You stressed out because of somebody saying some shit. You should have been let that go. They have been showing you who they were. So why are you still holding on to that energy? And letting them stress your day out. Uh-uh, no. Take, what's my... Take that bag. I don't want this. I don't want it. Listen. Any of it. That any people, places, and things. If it's not serving your highest self, remove it. It's not hard. Y'all make it hard. Be like, oh, but I've been with this person since I was 15. Well, they've been an asshole since she was 15. So that you wonder why your life ain't going the way. It's supposed to be going because you're still holding on to some shit that's not serving you. People, places, and things. And when we stress, we hold that in our body. Now our body is breaking down. Now we having sickness and illness and all of that. And then we ain't got nobody to blame. You can't blame nobody else. You got to blame yourself. Don't do it. This is a time for you to be in alignment with your highest self. Trust me when I tell you, I done been there. I done did that. I don't entertain or get caught up in anything that is not serving my highest self. If it is not working with me, it's working against me. And it can't, it, uh, there's no room. I tell y'all all the time, God and fear can't exist at the same time. I cannot say that I'm a goddess and still be walking in fear. And not trusting. I know that the universe. Is giving me. And aligning everything that I need. For me to walk forward. In my power. So you have to know it too. Making decisions. I tell you everything. When I. Listen. Everything. When it. It could be as simple as. Oh do I need to buy this phone. Is that in alignment with your higher self? Is it going to make your life easier? Is it going to make you be able to cut this off and not deal with this? And now I'm only my, my personal connections got this information. Is, is it adding peace, happiness, success? Listen, you don't need a vacation. You need to open your mouth, Mari. <laughs> And stop allowing people to take you off track. Okay? So, stand in your power. It's simple. Don't make it complicated. I don't argue, fuss, or fight with nobody. Why? Because it's, uh, it's unnecessary. Why am I going to argue, fuss, and fight with people who don't speak my language? It's simple. I might get frustrated. My eye might hurt. <laughs> My eye might hurt, but outside of that, I'm not. I'm not going to do the back and forth. I'm not going to do none of that. So you have to kind of operate in that space. If you feel like you're getting stressed out, if you feel like you're being overwhelmed, if you feel like you got some sort of energy that is creating discomfort, that is creating chaos, one, you need to look at it. Why is this here? What do I need to do? Peace, beloved. You are my old stomping ground. That's where I was raised over in that area. What do I need to do? Why do why is this here? 
How do I need to reflect on this energy? How do I need to resolve it? What do I need to do from a refinement space? Because sometimes those energies that's triggering stuff is there for you to refine who you are. So you can manifest your best self. So now that's here. I got to I got to deal with it. This is a, a moment of, uh, of clarity. This is a lesson. This is a life lesson that's going to push me to my grace. Greatness. OK, boom. Let me deal with it. Let me refine it. OK. Exactly. Build and destroy. Sometimes you got to destroy. Sometimes you got to clean the slate. Sometimes you got to like start all the way over. Blow that up <laughs> and then start over. Sometimes you got to be the demolition man. But do it confidently. Do it in a space where you like, okay, boom, let me do this and move forward. And you can still do it with a smile. Don't ever feel like you got to get off your throne. That's not what we about. We don't get down off the throne unless we go into war. And it shouldn't be nothing that's causing you to go to war unless it's threatening your kids and your own livelihood. So I'm going to stay here. And I'm going to say what I need to say from my throne. Somebody caught talking reckless. I'm going to let you say it over there in your land. And I'm going to say what I need to say from my throne. That's it. Call the guards. Steph already on it. Call the guards. Guards. And I'm done. You have to handle it from that perspective. Stop letting people steal your power. Stop letting people steal your joy. That's why you sad. That's why you stress. That's why you full of anxiety. That's why you in the energy you in. Y'all allowing people in the gates. They shouldn't even be able to get past the guards. How they get past the gates? Because you was trying to be nice. You being nice. You being sweet. You wanting to be compassionate. You trying to give people chances. Lift guards. We ain't doing that. It's 2019. We're not doing that. Focus on focus on your shit. This is about self-love. This is about you owning who you are. Walking in your power. Bad accident and all. Walk in your power. It's people who are out here who are for real, for real going through something. You are never weak. You are always in your power. Even when you feel like you're at your lowest point, you still standing in your power. You got to trust it, though. Right. Only things that can uh, happen is the stuff we allow ourselves. We allow the energy to, to bring us there. And even when it's our elders and our, our beautiful loved ones that are attached to us, you just have to know this is who they are. I accept and I love you for who you are. And let it be that. I don't have to engage. It takes two. Quit engaging. Quit engaging. Yeah, that's our word, uh, Twan. When we was talking about that, I think back in January. Guards? Mm -mm. I'm going to have a shirt put up. Peace, beloved. But for real, like y'all, if you could see the amazing energy that I see in y'all, if you can see the power that I know you possess, if you could just get a glimpse of it, then you will stop letting people steal your power. And I know it's hard because we in survival mode. We're trying to take care of families. We're trying to, you know, be successful and competitive in, in this, this world, society. You see what I'm saying? I 
I get it. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to compete with. But this is why you are who you are. This is why you are an amazing individual. You are a being of light. So being a being of light, you stand in it, beloved. You, you, you own it. Stop feeling like you are less than that because you're not. Y'all are so amazing. The only thing that brings you to lower vibration is other dynamics, the stuff you are allowing. Imagine yourself. Visualize. I need y'all to go through this full moon. Visualize you on your throne. I'm on my throne. Not coming off. It's going to take a whole lot. It better be bombs going off on my courtyard for me to dag on come off this throne. Because if bombs going off in the courtyard, we we must be at war. So everything, the people you deal with, the places you go, the things you entertain, All of it. This is when you say, is this in alignment with my higher self? If it's not in alignment with your higher self, let it go. Stop it. Stop entertaining it. Why is it here? And when things, be patient because it's not overnight. I still go through stuff where I'll be like, oh, I'll let you get through the gate. Listen, it's stuff that I still go through. And I'll be like, oh, shit, I let you go through the gate. That's my fault. My bad. I let you in the gate. But I don't get mad. I might say something because I'm very good on letting, making sure my throat chakra stay open. <laughs> and I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it with a smile. Or I just might say it like real nonchalantly. And depending on how the response is, it it immediately triggers, is this something that I need to have a conversation about or is this something that I need to let go? If I need to have a conversation about it, then I will proceed with the conversation. If it's something that I don't need to have a conversation about it, we don't speak the same language. We don't speak the same language. So, since that's the case, guards, done. Move forward. Okay? <laughs> Move forward. Don't entertain it. Don't get caught up. I will block, delete that ass in 2.2 seconds. In real life, not in play play. In real life, <laughs> in real life, I will be in a space where I'm like, eh, no, I'm not getting ready to entertain that. You almost got me. Got to be quicker than that. Almost. You yeah, almost. So, stand in your power. Stand in your strength. Know who you are. We get ready to come up on what day is I am. We coming up on a few days. We just went through our rebirth. So we getting ready to come up on in a few days. I am. I am is about who we say we are. We can't go into I am with doubt. We can't go into I am kind of. I'm kind of sure I might be. You got to go into I am and who you are. No, I know enlightenment is next. We talked about that already, Nicole. I'm talking about in a few more days. On the day 23, we on I am. And I am is about us owning our God energy. Owning who we are. Don't let people dictate who you are bump their opinions bump what they saying 
All of that. Exactly. Don't ever argue with a fool because they don't know who is who. Don't. None of it. Stand in your power. Stand in your strength. Own it. So this full moon energy, y'all, I'm about to get off of here. Cause they probably about to count me down anyway. This full moon energy. You need to release it all. Release it all. It's not serving you. Release it. It ain't in alignment. Release it. You've been holding on to it for years. Release it. Do the cord cut and get them scissors out. Get you some fake scissors. And visualize them cords. Cut them. Cut them all. Shit, if you need to cut everything, cut them all. So you can start fresh. We in rebirth. This is the time to start fresh. Start anew. Okay? Start new. <laughs> you stupid, Alicia. <laughs> right? Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Gotta cut it. Right? <laughs> They've been practicing on being right. So, cut all the energy. Let's move forward into this new energy that the full moon has offered us. And go in as your goddess energy. Go in as your God self. Go in as your connected self. Okay? Stop allowing people to pull you. Don't let them steal your power. That should be your word for next month. You can't steal my power. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. Don't let them do it. This is your time to shine. Don't let the energy do it. This is your time. Listen. I be having mad stuff going on. Different little stuff be trying to like steal my joy. Nope. Every time when I think somebody, yeah, yeah I'm, mm -mm, something pop up, the universe will pop that. And if you paying attention, the universe will keep sending you signals. It'll keep putting messages like, boom, you thought that they was getting ready to try to knock you off. Here, there you go. Stay on track, boo. Pay attention. The universe always sending this stuff. So be in this space. Peace, beloved. Um, be in the space, release it, get in your power, meditate, meditate every day going into this new moon after this full moon, y'all need to be working on visualization. How do you want to see your life? How do you see you living your life, your best life? How do you see you walking in your power? What does that look like? What does she look like? If you say your goddess energy is, I ain't got none of my accessory stuff. But if you say your goddess energy, we just playing. I mean, you got a crown on your head every day. Walk with your crown on your head every day and dare somebody to say something. Dare them. Walk in your energy. Damn it, if you want to have a velvet cloak on every damn day, Walk with your damn cloak. You better twirl. <laughs> Do it. And dare them to say something. What they gonna say? And if they do say something, oh, I demanded your attention. That's what that's what queens are supposed to do. That's what goddesses are supposed to do. Walk in it. Own it. Radiate so bright that it it blinds them. Yes, twirl. <laughs> But for real, like, you really got to be in a space where y'all are every day. I want to see y'all. The, the month of March, y'all better be walking in it. I'll walk in mine every day. I'll be having all stuff. They just be like, where you going? Nowhere. I'm going to life. I'm enjoying my life. I'm on my journey. I'm manifesting myself. <laughs> 
you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Only reason I ain't doing it today because I've been moving furniture. But look, be in it, own it, love it. Know who you are, okay? I love y'all. I hope you have an amazing night with this beautiful full moon. I hope that y'all take this energy that this moon offers us in building into your self-love, building into your evolution of your spiritual self, because this is a very powerful moon for that. Make the blueprint, plan it out. Don't set intentions, but start planning, start seeing it, what it is that you need to see and how you're going to manifest it. It's such a beautiful time and it's such a, a beautiful space to be in, y'all. I am truly, truly thankful for each and every one of you and for y'all commitment and loyalty to me because I'm going to be committed and loyal to y'all because I want to see everyone grow and prosper. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. I will be back on here in the morning. I might have the book that I'm going to read. I got like a couple of books and I know I'm doing some study and I done started my classes. So, yeah, it's going to be crazy. All right. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Let's see y'all. I love y'all. Oh, I love you. Love you. Love you. I'm so thankful for y'all. All right. Peace.